What makes the site so ideal is we've had rapid deposition of sediments, all deposited in the past thousand years. So we look at how those sediments are affected by the fault, and we can date those sediments and then reconstruct the faulting history. Gee, we're out in the middle of nowhere. How is it that you found this place? Well, even though the fault is buried by between six and ten feet of these lake deposits, we identify the location of the fault from looking at Landsat imagery and aerial photography. We trench so that we can study the recent geologic history of the fault. Once we've cleaned off an exposure so that we can see the stratigraphy and the interaction with the faulting, we commonly will grid a surface with string, and then we'll photograph this gridded surface with a rectilinear lens. And then we'll end up logging or drawing. Attention visitors, attention visitors, Anton Zelter. Over the photos. Anton Zelter, please report to the first floor security desk immediately. Anton Zelter, Anton Zelter, please report to the first floor security desk immediately. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, this is one of the most unique. The upper few meters of the Earth's crust to study the recent sedimentological and earthquake history of the fault. And it's through construction of the history of the fault that we can then better understand how the fault is being impacted. Yeah, sort of. Before you have to fly through the field. I'm not sure I get of the uh, earthquake has not been determined as yet. Also, the report that the downtown area has been blocked off for a block between and City manager Robert Olin asked that the heads of all city departments report to him immediately at the public safety building. The first base building at Fifth Avenue and A Street. A doctor is needed there as soon as possible. Did you fall down? Oh. I want to see these. Okay. Yeah. Well, the main forms of lava that uh, we get in Hawaii are all uh, uh, hoi hoi. The so hoi hoi is, is the more fluid lava that forms smooth splash that come up in
Michael Plunge. 